want to talk to you about enjoying perfect peace. The scripture I was studying the other day in, in 1 John and I found it very interesting how the scripture lays it up. It starts off by saying, you little children. Uh, he refers to them as little children. And then when you go down, you will see him referring to them as young men. And then you will see him change again and refer to them as fathers. So if you will see, then he goes back to saying little children. You will see again, then he goes back and then he refers to them as young men. Then he goes back and says fathers. Then he goes back and says little children. And I found that very interesting. This is a three stages of Christian life. Sometimes we behave like little children and that is why the, when the disciple talks to them, he says, little children do not sin. In other words, he's saying when you sin, you are acting like a kid. And then he turns around and he says, young men. So that is the spiritual adolescency where you grow into, you cross over being a teenager and you're done rebelling and you're done throwing your tantrums and then you're like, hey, I understand things now. I, my understanding has increased. So God wants us to learn to grow from being baby Christians to adolescents to being fathers, being fathers. Every believer must grow into being a father. Every believer. Every believer must grow into having a heart of a father. There are many men of God, but very few fathers. There are many men of God, but very few friends of God. God is calling us to grow into the capacity where we become fathers. Father doesn't correct the child to kill her. You correct her to redeem her. So every single believer, we cannot behave like kids. We cannot behave like teenagers. We have to grow into being a father. The moment you, you are in the church and you have hurt another brother, you've hurt another sister, I'm embarrassed that, 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 that we haven't grown. How many of you understanding us and we have to grow up? In the house, there are all kinds of people. Some people lack maturity. They are babies. They've been in the church for 40 years, but they're still babies. That being said, fathers can fall too, but you have to get back and stop being a baby and start acting like the father you are. How many of you understanding what I'm saying? Don't tell me you don't fall at all. Do you fall? but you don't stay down, right? If you squeeze a Christian, there's something that needs to come out of him. If you squeeze a sponge that is dipped in water, water will come out of him. You, 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 you immerse it in wine and squeeze it, wine will come out of him, am I right? So when you squeeze a Christian, something must come out of him. And that is nothing but faith and love. Anytime something else comes out, it's because you're a work in progress. So if you ask a Christian, what is the ingredients of a Christian? The ingredients, what is Christian made up of? Yes, Christ lives in us, but what is the, the, the formula of a Christian? It's faith and and love. So anytime faith and love is combined, it produces peace. If there is no peace, it's because faith and love is missing. Ephesians 6, 23. Peace be to the brothers and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. So Peace, for you to have peace, you must have something. Love with faith. You know why it says love with faith? Because you can have faith without love. Proof, come to a church. Full of people, so much faith, no love. So sometimes I want to call fire on my enemies. And the Lord will teach us, Saying, son, daughter, the only way you can have perfect peace is when you bring love into your heart. 
when faith and love is combined, you will have peace. If you just have faith, 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 I love Jesus. Oh, I'm better than everybody. My, my, my family is not good. My friends are not good. I'm the only one. I'm, I live near to Jesus, just like seven centimeters away from Jesus. <laughs> Listen, you'll be very miserable. You will act like you are a saint, but you won't even have good night's sleep. You will act like you're the best Christian because you post the right post on Facebook, you have the right images on Instagram, but then your heart is a mess because you have so much faith but not love. Anything that you throw, anything that you throw will, that a Christian must do will come under the categories of faith and love. Any, any can, like if you say a Christian must be holy, it comes under faith. Because you cannot be holy by your own works. You can only by, be holy by faith. It is through Christ that we can be perfected. How many of you that is? That is only by faith. A Christian must be, must be kind. That comes under love. A Christian must be generous. Comes under love. Whatever things that you can throw at that a Christian must do will come under the broad category of faith and love. Any time you find that your heart is not at peace. You just need to look at your faith and look at your love. When there is a leak of either of those, your peace is leaked. I'm giving you the keys to get results. Faith and love, faith and love. Every time you have a bad news and you're freaking out and, and, and you are not at rest, yeah, faith is being leaked. Faith and love together brings peace. You haven't become a true Christian until the, the peace of Lord Jesus rules your heart. We talk Christianese. We act Christians. We think that going to church makes us a Christian. But your heart is far from peace. I have stopped asking God to increase my anointing. And I have started increase God. Lord, strengthen my character to trust you 100% so that my faith cannot be moved. It is in that place filled with love. There is perfect peace. Go to Philemon chapter 1 verse 4 and 5. I thank my God always when I remember you in my prayers because I hear of your love and of the faith that you have toward the Lord Jesus and, and for all the saints. Basically, he's saying that when I think of you, I'm not asking God to send fire because you guys are good Christians. Because I hear of your love and of the faith that you have toward the Lord Jesus and for all the saints. Faith and love not only to Jesus, but towards each other. Faith and love. Love covers a multitude of sins. That is why the Bible says, judge not anybody. Because there are some in their children, some they are young men, some others are fathers. And fathers sometimes fall, young men fall, babies cry, but you don't get to judge. That's why the Bible says, judge with righteous judgment. There's only one righteous, and that is Jesus. Righteous judgment. Judge with righteous judgment. Because love has a way of covering sins. Love has a way of saying, because I show love, I receive love. It may not receive from human beings, but I receive from Lord Jesus.